So welcome to episode number four. I'm trying a little bit different format here. I'm going to try some slides and then mix in the demo. Uh, not sure how this is going to work out, but it's going to give me an opportunity to give this uh, episode a little bit more structure. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about the HTML editor, which is a module that actually plugs in to the uh, .NET Nuke platform. Um, it's one of the more basic and it's also one of the most important because this is what you're going to use to put content on all of your pages. So in this episode, we're going to go over using the editor, uh, formatting your text on the pages, adding images, uh, some best practices that I like to use when you're creating content, and then finally we're going to get into custom styles, which is really cool for keeping like a consistent look and feel throughout your site. Uh, the editor uh, to the left here you can see is very familiar. It looks like any word processor that you might have used in the past with the exception of a few controls that we're going to go over. Um, and some of it's just, you know, like the anchor tag, for example, or the, uh, the link tag here. Um, but we'll cover all that. Uh, on the right hand side, some of the bullet points. Uh, WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get. I put not quite there because there are some things where it doesn't look exactly the way it would uh, when you have um, like applied some custom styles. But you can always see what that looks like with the preview button down at the bottom. So we'll go over that. And finally, uh, upload, insert, resizing images, and then uh, some, covering some basic HTML controls uh, that you don't need to be too concerned about, but it's helpful to know what's going on. So jumping into this demo, we're going to just add some text really quick. We'll format that text. Uh, we'll just go over creating some bullet points. And, uh, and then finally, we'll create a link and add a table to our page. All right, so here is our first demo. We have the editor that you can see. And we have the uh, HTML module that's sitting on our, our main page. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on edit text. Now that's one way to edit the text and the other way is to select from this drop down arrow and select edit text as well. Uh, you probably know this already. So this is what our editor looks like and in this demo we're just going to quickly go over uh, adding a little bit of content. So adding a And just to show you like how easy it is to format, uh, we can highlight this and then we could select a, a format. Like uh, typically I keep this at normal, um, but you can apply a different font and then a different size as well. And then we can uh, add a couple bullet points. Well, let's select this first here. Oops. Can I get away from that menu? All right. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted to do. Go to the next line. And we'll say bullet point one and bullet point two. So that's uh, just go over, you know, just going over adding some text. Um, and if you wanted to add like a, a horizontal rule, which is just a line that goes across, you can click on this, which is like an HTML control. Um, and then if you wanted to add a table, you can click on the little table icon and it pops up a little box here where you can actually choose the number of rows and the columns that you want. And we'll just do a two by two. Um, you could have a border or not have a border and this border size is actually the thickness of the lines. And uh, if you wanted this table to go clear across the, the page, you'll just do 100%. So we'll actually do zero on the border size. Uh, and you can see that we can now add content within uh, these tables here if we wanted to. So, and uh, all right, and to preview what that looks like, you just click on the preview button. And you can see down below that this is what it would actually look like when you uh, when a visitor would come to visit your page so if we go ahead and click update at this point and click on our view mode there's the text that we've just added section two uh, is adding images and this is going to be a quick demo we're going to go over the image gallery that's built in so they do have an integrated image browser uh, that gives you the ability to upload new images 
select from images that are already in the gallery and finally we can scale those images as we insert them onto the page and even after it's on the page we can still scale them and we'll go over all of that so quickly jumping into this demo we'll upload some images we'll insert images into our page we'll resize and then I'll even show you how to move these images around once you've got them on the page All right, so just continuing uh, our demo, uh, we're gonna add some images to our page now. Uh, and again, once we're in the editor, the icon that you want to select, and remember these all have a rollover, so you can look at the description as you roll over these images, is the insert and edit image. Now the first thing that this does is bring up um, your image properties. So if you knew exactly where you were gonna link your image from, you could do that here and, and then but I typically like to use the browser. So we're gonna click on browse server and this brings up the little image gallery. And the thing that it's gonna show you first are all the images that are sitting in your gallery now. So everything that's on the server right now. And what you can do is you can actually upload new images if you like. So if you clicked on browse, you can browse your own system and upload those images right into your gallery. So we'll just select um, like one of the images that they already have that comes with .NET Nuke and click on OK and you can see that it drops it right on the page. Now if you wanted to resize it you can just drag any of these corners and resize that image and then to move it around you just hold down the mouse button and just drag it into a different location. So if you wanted to drag it up here or drag it into the table you could do that as well. One of the things that I like to do is uh, use tables to kind of position these images. So a lot of the times I'll put like an image in one of the table cells um, and then I'll put the text over here. And you could even like, uh, by the way, if you wanted to bring up any of the properties on, on a table, you just, uh, you know, select the table and um, you can bring up like the table properties. So for example, if we wanted to change the width on this to like um, 400, uh, we could do that just to make it a little bit smaller. And uh, if we preview what this looks like, you'll see that I have like this, te this text now that is positioned uh, next to the image. Now, we might want to position the text within this cell so that it's up top, so that it's centered or left aligned. Um, and let me show you how to do that. You can just select that cell, right click, go down to cell, and select cell properties. And here, you can actually say, I want my horizontal alignment to be left and my vertical alignment to be the top. And that's typically what you'd rather do anyway. So you'll see that the text moves up to the top and left and if we preview this now, you'd most likely have it like this if you were really positioning the text and the image side by side like that. Uh, another thing I'll show you really quick is, um, you know, there's all HTML code that this editor is generating. And to view that code, you just click on source and you can see that if you understand HTML, um, this is what it's sending to the browser and the browser is sort of like translating this and creating your tables and uh, you know your table rows and your table data here. Um, and the reason why I wanted to show you that is uh, sometimes you might want to just quickly remove a couple of these uh, row like this row here. And uh, the fastest way to do this is to go down, uh, identify where you have this text, right, 10, 10, and 4, 5, 6, and you'll see that the slash this is an open tag and the slash is a closed tag. So this is a table row. This is our table data, table data, and then a close tag for that row. So if you actually wiped out this whole row and deleted that and clicked on source again, you'll see that that entire row is gone. And we'll go ahead and we'll save that so you can see what it looks like. We'll go to our view mode, and now this is what everybody's going to see when they come to the page.